It, damn boy, <laughs> what? The Village of Perception, Chapter One, First Debut Album. This is going to be fun. There are a total of six songs on this entire album. It looks like all of them are pretty much all full length. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. If you missed any of the previous Billy parts, they're all in the Billy playlist on my channel. Some of this stuff was kind of spoiled during the guide reaction. Not, not like fully spoiled, but or heard more than I would want. I'm so hyped. Now, from the guide to the early stuff sounds very different from what uh, I heard on chapter three. I expect their sound evolved over time. Still trying to fully put names to faces and whatnot, so apologies. Oops. Hey. Okay. This is very different from G3. Hey. This is mixed differently. Did you hear like the the echo delay on her on her entrance? And was that was that Harum entrance? I, I think that I think that was the case. Uh one, two, three, this is six before the seventh member. I saw that in the guide. Chapter one was six when they debuted. This this already sounds it sounds weird. It sounds so strange. Yeah, that, that was it. Cause I think I Oh That's how we got to this course So what I'm noticing especially in the like from a production standpoint of the song everything sounds more intentionally muffled it's definitely not as clear as you would expect the song to sound for a debut to this sets the bar for what to expect from the group Sean looks... I, blue hair is Sean, right? Yeah. Let me see you. Let me see you. Uh, ask Moon to uh. This is so hard for me to tell who's who. <laughs> I'm struggling. Hey. I want to say that's Harum because the aura feels the same. I could be wrong. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there, there's that, there's that rap duo, Chion and Moonswa. Yeah. There's a lot more of an emphasis on the choreo in this. Oh, wait, run that back. Hey, hey, hey. hey uh, I like that part.
I wonder if, I wonder if they were going for Carol of the Bells with that little ring my bell. Wait, y are, yeah, yeah, it had to have been. It had to have been a, a Carol of the Bells re little reference thrown in, right? Yeah, because why? Because it's ring ring. Why would they say ring ring with my bell otherwise? That's cool. I'm a fucking nerd, bro. I'm a nerd. Sean gets a lot of visual time in this. It's like a haunting, haunting experimental Carol of the Bells. Uh, I feel like we're interrupting something. That could, we could come back. It's a wedding bell. Okay, okay. I mean, well, a church bell, not not specifically a wedding bell, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a like on that because obviously without this, we don't have the Billy that we have today, right? That one, that one was interesting. I'm not sure how to feel about the style of mixing to this I, it's done intentionally they want it to come across a certain way they want it to seem more i guess intentionally distorted and uh haunting that portion i don't know how to feel about it i'd have to listen to it again but yeah fun i like the the music video the emphasis on the choreography more so uh in that that was really cool um really the, the the best example that i have to this point was chapter three with uh Unuia. not a yap session let's move on to flipping a coin i know these titles from the from the thing from the guide i can't remember how they sound though until they start i remember this that blue hair was that was an era now, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah, that was hard. This is aura. Suki? Dude, Suha so easy to sit. Well, first off, wait, this is actually hitting way more than I thought it was. My brain just locked into the song, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't really paying attention to the song much. I was trying to, like, figure out who was who, but then the song kind of clicked all of a sudden. Hey. And am I tripping or are the visuals going crazy? Eyes are locked to Suha. Oh, hey, Haru. Okay. Look! Dude, Sean is killing it! No. And if I'm getting her name wrong, I'm so mad because that has to be her. No. Right? No. It's still six. Dimple! Saw it! Now, this is cool because I've yet to hear anything that's more of a, like, almost rap, rap, a coded song. And this is kind of that. A lot more punchy than some of the tracks that I've heard to this point, which are more, like, mellowed. And, har listen, Harum's, Harum's, the, Harum's my bias in the group. Hey. Soo Young. 
one isn't even in yet i was wrong she ranked up unintentionally uh because i i, I didn't even realize that's my fault it's like harm's my bias but i'm looking at sure a lot is really ch killing it man that little one braid with harem you know how i feel oh it's two so harana is over to the left i thought harana was on that joint lane This is actually unironically hard. This is so cool. I bet the like live stage goes crazy. Dude, I bet the live stage for this goes crazy. Absolutely. They had to have performed this at a festival or something, like Coachella or something. Hopefully they did. That would be a Patreon thing. But this is definitely one that I want to keep an eye out for in terms of uh, live stage performance and all that good stuff. I like the song a lot. The next song coming up, is it flow, flat, flat, flow world, flowered, flowered? There's so many different ways that you could go about pronouncing the next track. Let's get it with flat, flat, flowered, flowered, flowered. Off rip. You know how I feel about piano. Come on now. What's that chord at the start? Something, some, something, something like that? I don't know. Nah, I wasn't even fucking close. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It's okay. I know that I've heard that snippet from the guide, right? They played a portion of this song for the intro to Moon Suaz vocal vocals, right? However, the context with the the piano um, intro to this it makes it hit even even harder than it did before, because this <laughs> whoa that caught me off guard. I'm gonna try not to talk. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just excited. She's absolutely my bias. The vocals. Wait, you know, Suki's vocal, they sound so good. They give me a good reminder of uh, uh, New Jeans Hani. She has one of my like favorite uh, 
like vocal tones too he kind of uh, reminds me of her it's, it's a good thing honestly it's a good thing because that means vocals are just so on par i think billy debuted was it before or at the same time as new jeans actually <laughs> Love that. Mm -hmm. Woo, the strings. These lyrics are cute. this outro don't give me this don't give me this oh Ooh. you know and you know what every single one of these every single one of the members stood out on this track and i'm not just saying that to try and appeal to to billy fan billy fans to be like oh yeah i love every single one of your members and things like that um you know i try and just be genuine and, and honest with you guys which is not something that you see a lot on uh youtube or social media in general Hyun absolutely <laughs> knocked that out of the water first off because when i when i think of she and i think of Munsua, i think of the rapping portions and how uh how dynamic of a duo they are you know in my opinion the dynamic duo in the group is those two right she had a part earlier in the in the track that i was like wow it's just such a such a good refined tone suhyun she had uh, i'm actually at the part i'm at the part i think it was here when she said uh, starlight all right here at the end that little just falsetto flip into her head voice man ah uh. That was, it was so, it was so well. Haram, obviously, is my, my bias in the group. She murdered this, man. I, I don't want to comment on her because if I do, it's going to last for 30 minutes. Just me constantly commenting Haram throughout. But you can't tell me, especially here. She just goes up. Just, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Just wow, man. Dude, and then Harana too. Oh, her, her tone was just so, it was so good. She's the youngest in the group, man. When they're in a vocal setting, doesn't matter. I like this. I knew I would like it just from the snippets, but I liked it more with context built in. And then the outro to the song. The, oh, just listen to it. Mm.
Okay. <sighs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. Uh, the 11th day is next. Now we're getting into tracks that I absolutely have not heard, at least to my knowledge. I don't think I've heard the next, the final uh, three. Plow World is stuck in my head. What a beautiful track. But we move. Are we allergic to bad music? Playlist. Playlist. I, 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 I. It's like lo-fi jazz or something. Give me one sec. Okay, my apologies. I am back. Shua is going to absolutely wreck my mind. She could be a bias wrecker in this group for me, I think. <laughs> Do you hear the walking? Sorry. Do you hear the walking double bass underneath? I just hear a little... Uh, Like, is there something? Whatever the double bass is doing underneath, I'd, I'd love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Har Harm's voice is just, it's sultry, it's sexy, and I love it. All right. Everybody else is, is fantastic in this group. There's just something about Harm. <laughs> it's like the more i listen to the song the better it gets i'm trying to pay attention to the lyrics but but i i can tell that I, i'm genuinely vibing with the group because i'm i'm literally i'm just getting lost in the music <laughs> She's a jack of all trades, man. The guitar in the background. I love it. Give her ethics! Don't do it! That's crazy. The entire instrumental switched up. Or again, whatever it's doing. And it's, it's completely different now. I don't know. I don't know. I'm freaking out. Get through the song. Harm is so attractive. I mean, all. And right back. Yeah. 
pick. That lyric is so accurate. Hey. Woo. I love this vibe. Why is the record scratch hit so good? This could be track of the album. This could, I think this is my favorite one. It is lo-fi coded, it's jazz. I mean, like, like full on jazz bar jazz type coded. Like it's just, this is a vibe. My takeaway was Sua and, and Harm. You are a jack of all trades, just like Sua. Cause her, her vocal uh, parts in this song, Come on now, don't sleep on that. It were good. It were good. I am not ignoring everyone else. I just feel like on this track, especially, Harum embodied this. He embodied that. Next one is Everybody's Got a Secret with a with a dollar sign. So I'm kind of scared, you know what I mean? What? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> We're starting off with Haru. Wait, that, that is Moon. She broke me. She broke my brain because uh, I'm trying to call her Su Sua instead of Moon because Moon is her family name, right? But Moon goes hard as a as a name. Like, come on, that that is so cool. The fact that that's her fit. Anyway. Playlist. <laughs> How loud can I crank this? What do you mean by black spell, huh? No one remembers you. What does she mean by black spell? Does she know what I am? I don't have a chance to breathe. <laughs> Real talk. That was not where I thought this was going to go at all. Gotta applaud the creativity in this. Cause they throw in the Like they, they, they implement it in a way where it's it's pretty it's direct. You know what it is, but the it's just the switch the switch up, especially with Harum when she switched to do her thing here, I think it was here. I expected her to keep the same melody as everyone else did before, but she does the how did we get here? That's insane. And it's And the bells are still kind of like there. Suhyun insane. Yeah. Hey. That <laughs> Bow, 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 bow. Who is doing the run? If that's Haram, I'm crashing out. I, it's probably Haram, I'm gonna crash out. Oh. <laughs> 
Actually, it might have been harder too. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. This track's insane. Hmm. Give me R&B or something. Suya might be my favorite one off this track. I know who's doing that run. I know who's doing it. That little turtleneck sweater wearing red hair, having red lipstick to pair with the hair. It's her. It's her. It's her. It's her. I know it. That's her. <laughs> wow 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 i don't know that i have any other words other than wow to describe that uh 11th day is is still number one off the album for me everybody's got a secret number two i knew i knew what the freaking little dollar that little dollar sign in secret i was like okay my guess was that it would be a rap centered song oh that is so cool i like what they did i like what they did with, with the instrumental man they, they really sampled it and made it their own like what it's not her it, it is her but wow enough yapping though we literally have one more song this is gonna be such a long video and i apologize but i don't apologize you're watching this video because you wanted to see my genuine reaction so jokes on you Yes, I have Suki. Uh, what you call it? What's up? I didn't expect Shu Young to, to sing. Like, I thought it was gonna be a rap. Talking about Bi Billy as like a a person versus as a group. Yeah, this is this is him gossiping about Billy, I think. Name doesn't matter. 
My takeaway, I guess, is like when they started off and they asked, hey, have you heard of Billy? They're putting a person to Billy or like like the group personified, basically. So they're like gossiping about the group as if it's a uh, individual or something. In terms of a song, this this is not my favorite one off the album. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm not. I'm probably not gonna like directly go to listen to it. In terms of the idea and what they were going for, totally understand it. I think it would have made more sense to sequence this at the top, like at the beginning, because this would have been an intro to the album versus the very last track on this album. The only track track that I had any sort of initial like uncertainty on is actually the title track with ring ring my overall thoughts on chapter one is i am not disappointed whatsoever but for chapter one i'm impressed quite a bit especially with uh like i said 11th day the 11th day everybody's got a secret uh flower world flipping a coin Look out for even more billy album reactions the next one is going to be the collective soul and unconscious chapter one you guys are going to be eating good with some billy content i'm gonna end it here though till next time you take care peace